guys this is Eric from Jumbo Designs in this screencast we are going to try to install the new version of Joomla 1.6 beta 2 that is available that was available uh, two days ago in 31 May 2010 I mean the Joomla uh, official website here and www.joomla.org and as you see as you see here in the left side is saying Monday 31 May 2010 Joomla 1.6 Beta 2 new available. You can click here to download it for for trying the new installation. Basically, I don't recommend it to do, you know, to use it for uh, websites, but it's just for trying. If you are curious to try it, how looks the new version? You can do this by just clicking here and going to the page where you can download it. So I have already downloaded and I have uh, extracted that in my local uh, host. As you see here, I have already done that. I'm just using a, a local server so uh, you need to do the same you need to extract it in your local server or in your hosting and uh, after that what you need to do is go to your browser go to PHP my admin if it's in your uh, from your hosting provider or is uh, or if it's directly in your local host it's still the same interface so you go to the PHP my admin and you create a new database I'll call it test base and I'll create I will I will click create and waiting a few seconds until the the new database is created and it's saying database test base has been created what we need to do next is we need to go where it's saying privileges here and we need to create a new user for this database I mean we can use one of the users before or or we can create new in my case I will create new just to show you how it's done and I'm creating here. I'm clicking here where saying create new. I'm going to choose a, a username. I'll just call it test base and uh, the host. I'll choose local and so local host password test base again test base test base the passwords you know it should be secure so they have this uh, feature here that you can generate a password something that is really difficult to remember but in my case just for the screen cut purposes I'm just gonna do the test base uh, something easy to remember and after what we need to do is go to global privileges and check all the privileges here so we will have full access to the database and we click go wait a few seconds to see if the new user account is created and you have added a new user uh, is saying here as you see with green color okay cool so what we need to do now is we need to go and call the Joomla, Joomla installer by going to in my case is localhost slash Joomla 16 Joomla 16 is the folder that I have called uh, the folder that I have extracted Joomla in so it's out coming automa automatically to this page and the first step to install it as we see here in the left side is to choose a language in my case it uh, doesn't matter English or uh, UK uh, I'm just gonna click the the I mean sorry English or US I'm just gonna click the US version and click next and wait until going to the next step that is a pre-installation check and in my case here is everything correct so basically this this new uh, this next step is checking if if your server is able to keep Joomla and in my case is everything correct so I'm just gonna click next and the third step as we see here again in the in the steps panel in the left side and is the license the license of Joomla we can read it that when we have time in the, for the moment I'm just gonna click next and in the fourth step is a crucial step where we connect the database with the website and what we need to do is the host name was localhost if you remember from here from the PHP my admin that when I created the new uh, uh, user that I called the the localhost the host name I call it localhost sometimes it's a router sometimes it's localhost I don't know you depend always by the cases but in my case was localhost and the the username is uh, test base and password is test base and the database name uh, was 
test base again. So we click next. We will see now if everything is correct. If if the database with the website are uh, connected. So we go to the next step. This means that the uh, is connected and the FTP configuration is optional. So even if we don't uh, add any information here sti still nothing will happen we just can click next and go to the next step but uh, if you wanna add uh, the FTP configurations you can leave it empty now and after you install it you can just go to the global configurations and add it there the username and password and the root path so I'm just gonna click next and uh, wait to the last one where uh, where we put the, the site name, in my case here I put the site name screencast test we should put a valid uh, email because uh, really should be a valid email if we want to use the, the forms of Joomla like the contact form and and the other forms that are, are uh, pre-installed in Joomla so in my case I have put my my, uh, my email and we should put a, a username and password that are for the administra administrator panel so I have put it admin and admin and I need to put again admin just for testing and we really need to click to here in the end where it's saying install simple data for uh, installing some pre-made articles from Joomla and some uh, modules that are really good for uh, for testing the site so we wait a few seconds until the simple data are installed and after we need to click next and uh, basically what is doing when you click simple data all the information is going directly to the database and, and creating these uh, articles and modules and everything so here is saying now simple data installed successfully what we need now is we click next again and we are to the last step we see if everything is alright and it seems like everything is working fine the last thing that we need to do now before we use our uh, Joomla site is we need to go to the local server where we have extracted the Joomla installation files and we should find this folder called installation in my case I will uh, rename it but you should really delete it if you're gonna use it for a, for a normal site so I'm just gonna rename it put like some numbers behind so it'll be not the same name and uh, I'm going to the browser again and I'm gonna try to see if the site is working by clicking site in the top right corner here and wait a few seconds and seems like it's working this is the new template of uh, the, the new de default template of Joomla and so basically this means that our installation was successful and let's check and uh, administrator to see if that part is correct and doesn't create any problems and I will do admin admin okay I click login to see if everything is alright and no problems are coming and so we see everything the new interface of Joomla is uh, is shown in, in in the site now so it means everything is co is correctly done so this means that our screencast is over here and thank you for watching and I see you in the next screencast